Well, as you can see, I've been puttering away this winter here. Um, this uh, pile right behind me here, I did uh, through the winter. I brought it out, the other two piles. There are uh, three piles I had done last fall. But just uh, cleaning things up, making more room. Uh, Got to lay some more pallets and stack some more stuff up here just to organize stuff. But uh, yeah, see, they got some pretty nice pile, just uh, one by six. I put on this side. Oh, it's just because you get some one by six when you're cutting a log and one by eights. So. Got a pretty, pretty good pile going there, and uh, get them all dry piled. They'll dry out pretty quick. This stuff here I did last summer, and uh, if you're following along, you know I'm uh, making siding for the house, for the cabin. It's uh, it'll look a little more like a cabin when I'm done. So. We just uh, get out here and get some cleaning up done and we'll get back with you. Spilled out there. Just try and level this up a little bit. Not sure how level that's going to be, but. Good my eyes. The wolf here, the wolf here, been following along. You know, I got some more lumber that I want to get piled. But I don't like to pile it out so it dries too fast. The sunshine, if it's not to dry too fast, it's going to work. So, just uh, try and get this down in here and then. Foot stuff. I got a bunch of eight foot two by fours, but I don't cut a lot of them. So well, now, if you're following along, 
you see where I'm at is I'll at home. Too bad. One of these. Shut that up there so I don't break it. There, we'll get some lumber piled up there. Yeah, I just get them piled so they don't work. Hey, get the other one gets starts getting a little bow in it. enough air space that'll work okay and I can cut them off after melting so a little muddy out there and soft ice I was going to put a couple pallets down out there but I will later once it dries up but I can clean up and move a lot of that pile back there it's all eight foot um, or eight foot six I cut most of it eight foot four <clears throat> so I'll get them piled there in the corner and that'll free up a lot of room here so when I start cutting more one inch I got to move this one inch stack it outside yet but I got some pretty nice uh, three or four of those or I'll make one by eight so um, yeah I'll just get uh, get it all uh, sorted out so I have room so I'm not laying it out in the water or in the moisture let's get it piled up good
rid of all the sharp ends and I won't be hooking myself on it. Got the two by fours all nicely piled and then I put some one by eights on top there just for some extra weight for the two by fours and I'll be adding more one by eights anyway. I won't be making uh, too many more two by fours, maybe a couple. That's probably it. So uh, yeah, just make it nice and level, nice and neat. Helps make a little bit more room over here. I got some six by sixes I have to move. Get them out of the way. And then uh, once it's dried up, I can take a 10 foot, uh, 10 foot two by fours I have there. I'll get those out of the way. I got half a dozen uh, one by, two by eights and then some uh, oversized one by either one by eight and a half I got piled in behind there so I can cut them down to one by eights or leave them like they are or you know I just uh, that's what I got out of them so I just save them at that so, so get everything sorted out cleaned up and then we'll uh, take you back on a little tour.